This is video number two with the rocket boiler in the basement. We're doing another test burn using some pallet boards. Some of them are oak and some of them are, looks like they're pine, kind of doing an, a mixture of oak and pine together. Seems to work pretty good. Auto feed works pretty good. 22 and a half degree angle on that pipe. It's about 16 inches long. It's been working pretty good. I've had the boards sticking out of there a couple feet and they feed right in. It lasts uh, about an hour, hour and 10 minutes, something like that. The oak burns a little slower. I've had a, an oak board in there for an hour and 20 minutes. My leak went away. I don't know what happened there. It was a pretty good drip yesterday when we fired it. Today it seems to have dried up and sealed itself up. Uh, there's no other leaks anywhere else that I can see. Still haven't got a container attached to the top of the expansion tank yet. The temperature is running about a hundred and about 160 degrees. Right now, I don't know if you can see that on YouTube, but there's 160 degrees. Um, of course, I'm not pulling any heat off of this system yet. It's just uh, circulating back and forth between the uh, boiler section of the uh, rocket stove. Uh, there's the inlet at the bottom. The pump is pushing the water into the boiler and then the boiler is full with all the air bubbles out of it and it's the water is pushing back up and that's where my that's where my temperature gauge is right where the hot water comes off the top of the boiler it goes goes up this line pumps into the bottom of my expansion tank and then it comes up and uh, comes off of that T I got a T on there for further expansion later on and then it comes down back and feeds the inlet of the pump again. I got a little box fan setting behind it. It's blowing some of the heat off of the walls of the rocket stove itself out and uh, into the room here in the basement and then the heat's going upstairs up the stairway keeping the house somewhat warm and uh, It's working pretty good. I didn't know if this this thing would make enough heat or not, but right now it it's it's working pretty good. It seems to uh, be putting out pretty good heat, both radiating and heating the water. And it is uh, the exhaust is staying relatively cool. Um, I wouldn't recommend laying your hand on the exhaust uh, on your wood stove because I'm sure that your hand would melt to it and you can see my hand is absolutely touching that exhaust pipe laying right on it and I'm holding my hand on there. Um, I bet that temperature is only around 110-115 degrees maybe at the most coming through this. So with that boiler added to that rocket stove, it's really, it's really drawing the heat out of that thing, keeping it inside the room here, working pretty good. And uh, well, there's some more water belching out the top. We're gonna have to fix that pretty soon. Get us a pipe connected to that and a container of some sort with graduations on it, so we can look at the hot and cold level and then keep it at a certain level all the time. And there's a picture down inside the uh, down inside the burner the business end of it it's working pretty good. It's got hot coals down in there and the wood just keeps burning and falling down in where it's supposed to. Nice hot fire down in there. They say these rocket stoves get over a thousand degrees on the inside and everyone that's making these stoves out of steel, uh, everyone's saying that's not a good idea because 
of the corrosion factor of that air rushing by with that those hot gases at a thousand plus degrees uh, rapidly corrodes and scales off the inside of your firebox and uh, I haven't had any indication of scaling on this one and we used it even before it was made into a boiler we fired it for several days and was running oak and ash and all kind of hardwoods in it at my brother's house last year and we had the thing really really hot and it wasn't I had no scaling on the inside of those walls I don't know how to explain that it's just an old piece of square iron pipe that I found uh, it was already pitted the pipe you can see pitting on it uh, when I got the thing it was already an old pipe it's probably quarter inch sidewall pipe um, but I believe that that water jacket has solved that that issue of uh, burning up that pipe I think it's uh, drawing the heat off of that steel fast enough that the the, the corrosion factor is not there this the steel is not getting up to a temperature that it's gonna gonna make it burn through or gonna make it really corrode that fast I think it slowed that down tremendously from what I can see uh, maybe somebody else here on YouTube can can comment on that and let me know what you think or why this isn't melting through or burning up like everyone else seems to be doing uh, maybe the key is making this thing into a boiler on the bottom section I got about the bottom probably one quarter to one third maybe of that uh, chimney pipe and probably almost half of that firebox uh, inside with a water jacket around it so that was just my idea something to do with this rocket stove to see if I could heat water with it and it seems to be working so that's about it for this video I'll give you another pan around look at everything there's the connections there's the pump temperature gauge see what we are 960 a little more than 160 um, there's a picture of the fire going in there the boards are getting a little shorter that's my ash clean out door on the front I only open that when I uh, clean the ashes out or if I want to give extra airflow or if I light it with a torch makes it a lot easier to light recycled car rim on the bottom that's a uh, I think it's probably a 15 or 16 inch rim that I had sitting around buddy gave me it was dented on one side so I just made that into the stand way to recycle something so that's it video number two the rocket stove I hope everyone likes and comments on it and shares this is uh, Rod from Brandon's Fish Farm Signing out. Thanks for watching.